what is SEO for Google search engine? In this video session, I'm going to share with you some core concepts as well as provide some great insights for you to consider if you're looking into what search engine optimization is all about. Now, most gurus will not be able to tell you what SEO is. Reason being, I am more than certain and confident in knowing that you end up getting many spammers emailing you saying, we'll do SEO, guaranteed first page rankings. And then they end up doing things like this blog creation submission, blog bookmarking, social bookmarking. That is not what SEO is. In fact, if things like that are done for your website, then I am afraid your Google rankings will be like a climbing mountain. As in, you won't be able to achieve Google rankings if you let spammers spam Google by saying that's what SEO is. SEO is not that. SEO basically is this. At the highest level, it is improving and optimizing usability of your website. That includes how your website is structured and you're in luck in that department because it's more than likely that you'll be using a theme that is modern, mobile ready, which is great. Such as if you're using WordPress, you have beautiful themes. You, if you're using Magento, you have beautiful themes. And they are usually optimized in its structure, as well as their mobile read. So that then the next part is improving the usability, in a sense, navigational structure of your website. By further guiding Google too, as in by providing titles, by better naming your landing pages, by using keywords throughout your content. But remember, the first thing to understand about search engine optimization then is that Google is a business. That's what it is. It's a global business and it provides a service and it's a search service. That means if someone searches how to make flower cakes, as an example, then that's a question someone's asking and Google says, okay, when someone searches this, we believe these results will bring results, as in, will bring satisfaction for that search pattern. How to make website, as an example. Then we have big players such as Squarespace, Wix.com, which you should never use if you want to really succeed on the internet. The reason I say you should not use is because they will not allow you to truly optimize your website. An insight for you, consider using a content management system that gives you full control over your website so that you can better optimize. Now here, these, these are ads. That means if someone clicks on it, these mob here, they'll end up paying Google AdWords. Then we have organic results. What Google is saying, we believe these ads may be of use for this search pattern, as well as the organic results. The organic results does not cost any money to the website owner. So therefore, search engine optimization then does not just mean you optimize your website for organic results only. Because Google AdWords does actually consider many, many different factors. And a better optimized website will always better perform in Google AdWords as well. So if you're like the most advertisers with Google AdWords, considering to do search engine optimization for Google properly, your investment will definitely be all worth to you if it's reasonably priced. But don't make a mistake thinking SEO like this. I could easily outsource this because I actually request premium service fee because I do different optimization. So most people will tell you, you know what? On-page SEO is doing title, 
keywords in the URL, title, uh, meta description, internal linking, robots.txt, and so on. That is true. In terms of robots.txt file, you can control how Google accesses and crawls your website. So optimizing robots.txt file is part of professional search engine optimization. Then you have .htaccess file for Apache servers. Optimizing that by using e-scores or caching or compression to you know, better load your website, that's part of search engine optimization as well. Furthermore, then we have some functions that you can use to better optimize your website. I'm just scrolling through a typical WordPress site. Then search engine optimization also entails structured data in 2018 and beyond. Why? Because Google looks at that now and prominently displays your website results if your website is using structured data. Furthermore, search engine optimization, there is a thing called speculative optimization techniques that better um, load your web pages whereby you can actually utilize some of them. So I'm not going to show you what they are because they are highly complex. Furthermore, by using no index directives for your website, that's part of search engine optimization. But above all else, it's improving usability of your website. You could do many, many optimization techniques. Then you will need to embark on learning what CSS is all about because that's to do with styling and structuring how your websites are presented. So that's part of SEO as well. Now, most SEO people, they end up saying to you, backlinks are important. Here's how you need to get them, all this stuff, right? For most small business owners, having a typical small business website, you can easily rank your keywords mainly by just creating the content that is optimized, built on a website that's optimized. So then you don't have to start thinking, oh, you know what? Backlinks are important because everyone else is saying that. The only people who say that to you are people who either don't understand what SEO is because Google has guidelines backlinking outlinking from your website yes that is going to influence your website's ranking but Google algorithms are too advanced to find out if a website is using techniques that's against its guidelines so you must be very thoughtful in terms of creating content. That's why you need to do keyword research in such way that you identify keywords that are at the beginning easy to rank in Google, which are long-tailed keywords, and then find ways for you to share that content naturally. You can begin, begin sharing that content on your own social media profiles, including Google+. If you're managing a YouTube channel, then you can share great content there as well. One way or another, do not make an honest mistake by purchasing backlinks, by using funny techniques like this. Because what will happen if you do is that you will not be able to rank in Google. What's worse is that if you're doing all the right things, and some SEO spammer has gotten some backlinks at spam. And then now you're thinking to yourself, you know what? I'm doing all the right things and I'm not ranking in Google. The reason that is, is because Google is penalizing your website. If anyone has embarked on funny SEO techniques, which are against Google guidelines. Make sense? So at the end of the day, let me wrap it up because search engine optimization is indeed a very, very complex subject matter. What you can do from your end is make sure you're using a mobile ready responsive theme and make sure that navigational structure of your website is easy to find and navigate through. Above, above all else, think of the person who's going to visit your landing page. 
because that's what Google algorithms do. They mimic a person visiting a URL. And if you create useful, engaging content that after someone searches Google, they lands on your landing page, and then you answer that search keywords, then everyone's happy, including Google as well, and including yourself as well. So therefore, usability, easy to navigate site, content that is not just, you know, 500 word, five, uh, you know, five minute article and so on, but you pay attention to the content that you create. And don't let any SEO guru tell you that you need to create 1000 word content. You can create landing pages and answer questions depending on the search pattern. It could be 200 words. It could be 300 words. It could be 100 words. It doesn't matter. It all depends on the keywords you're targeting. And then you do on-page SEO. Use keywords within the URL. Because think like Google here. If you put some keywords in here, a human being reads that URL may say, hmm, this landing page may be about whatever the keywords you're using. And then Google algorithms analyze the page content as well. That includes headings, images, linking, keywords, all that stuff makes sense and then you go advanced then you get into technical optimization that is you may need to change css as to how things are structured you need to optimize robots or text file dot hdxs file if you're using wordpress there are great functions that you can use to optimize your website especially its loading times you can use structured data as well as co control indexation. That's part of SEO. You can use highly advanced techniques for improving page load times. And then find natural ways so that someone reads this, shares that content naturally. Don't make an honest mistake purchasing backlinks. Because if you do, you, will, you won't be able to rank in Google. Not only that, you will be thinking to yourself, you've done SEO and then you're not seeing rankings and you're thinking you have to do more, more, more. As in don't hire cheap SEO services because they will cost you more at the end because your website and your online business deserves your attention and it deserves quality. To learn more about how to easily rank keywords, subscribe to Rank Your YouTube channel because I promise you, you'll get better results just like all my um, valued followers on YouTube. And I'll talk with you in the next video session.